Okay, um, thank you, thank you very much. Nice to meet uh, all of you guys. Uh, this is uh, just to see only the participating here, the amount of more 200, uh, you know, Jewish people worldwide, especially from United States. Um, this is amazing. This is show what is the Jewish world is. And this United, this is this, this is what's gonna bring us back, my brother and all the rest of the hostage. Um, so first of all, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. Thank you for everything, each one of you. And I guess you doing your best with your uh, closed circles and maybe far also. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. So my brother has, uh, has said uh, Elkanah is 34 years old. He's a husband. He's a father, and he was, I, I tell it, I, I will say that like that. Elkanah had, let's say, kind of two kinds of lives. First, there is the family guy of him, which is amazing, seriously amazing. He will do everything for his son, everything for his wife. He doesn't care about himself. And this is, this is the family guy of him. Also, Elkanah likes to party, like all of us. He likes to enjoy. He likes to go with friends, to clean his head from the day-to-day -day, uh, life, you know. And he was in the party. He was celebrating with more than uh, something around 10 friends. Um, most of them killed by a Hamas terrorist. Uh, three of them somehow get uh, uh, get back home safe. Not not exactly safe after six eight hours of, I don't know. They they uh, they hide and then they go, in no ways. But somehow they find themselves at home. And there is Elkanah that still uh, uh, now is kidnapped by uh, Hamas. Um, since this day, we don't know nothing about Elkanah. We don't know except the video that uh, Hamas uh, uh, send in their, I don't know, some channel in Telegram, whatever. Um, we saw Elkanah over there, we saw him shirtless. Um, his face looked like they get some serious heat and he was, uh, his hands was handcuffed and it was, it was terrifying. It was terrifying to see his eyes Look at on the camera when the terrorists say to him, tell you, say your name, say your name. It's terrible. I saw that video one time. I can't see it anymore. I don't want to see it anymore. All what I want is to see Elkanah home, safe, as soon as possible. Um, Elkanah is really ambassador of free freedom and love. He's really, really love person. Um, he have a lot of friends from all over, um, including Arabs friends, by the way, not that matter because they also killed Arabs. I, I don't know exactly what to say, but just for example, to understand who is al -Kanah, so his wife called him around uh, eight and 10 uh, minutes a.m. in that uh, Saturday, and they, she told them, come home, there is missile. And he said, no, I'm, I, I will come home. I just need to help people over here to evacuate. And he could easily find himself, uh, I don't know, driving there from there since for the first missile. But no, he was staying there to help people to get out from there. And that's what happened. He is still... For my, for me, it's still there, still in the party, still now in the, I don't know, the tunnels somewhere in Gaza, um, and we're waiting, we're waiting for Elkana, we're waiting for him, we're waiting for all the rest. Um, this is an an unhuman situation. Look, I don't understand politics. I really don't. I don't like politics. I just like to live my life quietly do what I do, and that's it. This is Elkana also, and this is an humanity situation, seriously. Um, 
so, so this is the story of Elkanah in very short uh, way. He's also, just to make clear, 100% civilian, nothing to do with the army or something like that. Uh, not, and he have an ice cream shop in uh, Carmel Market in Tel Aviv. That's it. Simple, simple guy that go, just go to enjoy with his friends. And it's funny, we don't know if he knows that all of his friends killed almost all of them. We don't know nothing. We don't know what he do. We don't know nothing. We just hope and pray and waiting for him, just waiting for him. In your permission, this is, this is Elkanah. I just want to take, um, I, I, I am part of the board members of uh, the hostage form. And it's not something I choose to, it's, let's say the situation choose me and it's okay. I, I do my best. I try to do my best for, not only for my brother, for all, for all the hostages. And what we do, it's a couple of things. We do a lot. Um, I'll just give you examples. Um, we have the diplomacy, let's say arm or not arm, how we say that, like the vision. Um, we try uh, to keep uh, aware everyone from uh, from uh, government members till to ambassadors and like this to to act to act and to to be aware to this situation and to help uh, Israel to 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 get them out from there. Um, we also have the press. Israeli press, outside of Israel press, we do all what we can to keep the story alive. Um, we also help families with financial situation they they get into. For example, my brother, he have a business. He doesn't have his wife and his son doesn't have income. Uh, obviously, he doesn't working. Um, but the expenses keep going and, you know, so for example, this is an Elkanah example, but this is the story of many families. Um, so also uh, financially, we try to help the families. Uh, we also trying to act in, a, in the law uh, ways, meaning uh, to do claims in the, international uh, court of uh, human rights and all these uh, things um, and we try to to do also some some activities for the family um, to help them um, there is some uh, religious families so we have uh, rabbis that coming and pray and they pray together and they get some bless from them and this is one activity, another activity is uh, uh, administrations and and to say there is the Kikar Hatufim, which is a place um, that many families go there and they get big hug from the rest of the Israeli civilians that coming and supporting. And we have the delega uh, delegations delegation from uh, worldwide from all over the world seriously especially from united states of course the connection between israel and united states not only in the government level also just the simple people of us together kind of like this zoom meeting this is um so important this is so important this is so for me it's making me so happy to see the supporting the the the, the love the 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 united of us together with the basically understand that if not us to us, no one can help us. And um, we'd say that uh, um, we, we have to be, we have to be together always, no matter where. And this is simple, simple. That's it. Simple. It is. We have to be together. We, because no one's asking you where you're coming from or what is your political uh, side, uh, opinion, whatever. No, you're Jewish? Okay, we're going to hunt you. Just because you're Jewish. <laughs> well, look, uh, you know that we all pray for 
Alkana, as well as all the hostages. You mentioned that, uh, you know, there's a few hundred people on this Zoom. You should also know that the Zooms are replayed at night on YouTube, and uh, there's over 2,000 people that watch it. Uh, so there's a lot of exposure. And uh, thank you for what you do for the forum. And we're proud that Jewish National Fund USA has donated 1 million shekels to the forum. So we're doing, we're trying to do our part. And our plan is to share an ice cream with you and your brother very soon. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, very much. Amen.